Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, hello, hello. Gary here for Bizarre Brain Comics. And if you've followed me at all for the last couple of years, you know that I not only like comic books, but I am also a fan of the newspaper comic strips. And therefore, that is what we're going to be talking about today. And one strip in particular here is, if you can see this through the glare, Hagar the Horrible <laughs> by Dick Brown. <laughs> Let's see what the big book of knowledge has to say about Hagar. Uh, Hagar the Horrible by Dick Gr Brown. Hagar is the title character of an American newspaper comic strip created by Dick Brown for King Feature Syndicate. He first appeared in February of 1973 and had immediate success. The strip consists of the Viking Hagar, his wife, Helga, and their two children, Honey and Hamlet. And since Brown's retirement in, in 88, the strip has been continued by his son, Chris, and cartoonist, Gary Hallgren. Okay, and then Dick Brown. He's from 1917 to 1989. He's an American cartoonist best known for the comic strip Hagar the Horrible and High and Lois. He attended uh, Cooper Union and got started at the uh, New York Journal American newspaper as a copy boy, and then later in the art department. Also working as a courtroom sketch artist, and he covered the Lucky Luciano trial. Ooh, that's big. In the army, he created the strip Ginny Jeep about the women's army, uh, yeah, the women's army corps. And he worked uh, as an illustrator for Newsweek, Ma Newsweek magazine and for advertising ag agencies. In 54, he started High and Lois with Mort Walker as a spin-off of the Beetle Bailey comic strip. Uh, then he created Hagar the Horrible in 73 and produced both until retiring in 88. And he passed away in 1989 at 71. And from the pictures that I've seen, um, he based Hagar on himself because anywhere I've seen... I, I've seen a picture of him right next to Hagar. He even had the horned helmet. And he looks just like Hagar. So uh, he was undoubtedly the original inspiration for Hagar. So let us turn back the clock about a thousand years and have a few laughs with the funny Viking Hagar the Horrible. <laughs> okay, here's Hagar, and, and the book we're going to be looking at here is uh, The Best of Hagar the Horrible by Dick Brown. This is from 1981, so it's reprinting, It's all, and this book is all Sundays. So this is un, undoubtedly covers uh, several years through the 70s. Now, and over the, de over the decades, there have been numerous, numerous Hagar... Um, 
col uh, collections. Uh, when I saw a, a list w during my research, I didn't even count them all. There were dozens. I have just a, just a few here. I think I have two or three more somewhere. But this is <laughs> this is what I've got handy. Of course, this one we're going to look at, and uh, and you got. Hagar's Night Out, and the new giant-sized Hagar. Oh, I love that one. Old Blue Eyes is back. And this is, and of course, these are all dailies. And it's, uh, of course, Hagar is a Viking. And the humor is often poking fun at Viking-type things. Uh, Hagar is usually the butt of the joke. In one way or another. Some of the jokes are medieval. Some of them are very, very modern, but viewed through a medieval eye. And I, I always loved the, the strip. Because I love Vikings and other barbarians. As you may well know. And of course, the art style was very simple, very simplified, but he had some sophisticated humor. And I tell you, it is very difficult to to often draw, at least for someone like me. Uh, and I've never seen anything that other than uh, by uh, Dick Brown other than High and Lois and Hagar. So I don't know what his natural non-humor style looked like but uh, it can be very difficult to draw this simply that in itself is an accomplishment and this well this simply in this well very simplified give you a little brief example right there yeah has a dog snort. We'll just look at just a few, just because it's they're bigger and easier to. And this book is easier to, uh, to see the whole thing. Now, as I said, these are Sunday pages, and what many cartoonists do, and then and they do in this one, and, and uh, with Hagar, is it, you do a Sunday page, but you produce it in a way. That can be it can be altered without damaging the uh, or losing the uh, the gag. Now here, of course, this is the entire page has the the, the title here. But then what hap happens here is they have a little introduction that is a gag unto itself. So this could be like a just like a, a daily gag. This it could the paper could. Uh, produce just these three panels and eliminate all this and you still have a gag or they can keep this eliminate these two panels and you still have a gag from these three these six panels and sometimes it's designed so that you can remove various panels other panels shorten this this up and still have a usable gag and that takes some, some engineering, I tell you. I don't think I could do that. At least not consistency. We'll just take a look here. Hagar the Horrible. There's his wife, Helga. Knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. There's the door. I'll get it. And Hagar in bed. I'm coming. <laughs> She's putting on her lipstick and fixing her face. Knock, knock, knock. See, that alone is one gag. Then she goes to the door. Opens it and oh, it's because Hagar's sick. This must be the doctor or the wizard coming in, entering, uh, taking all kinds of weird stuff out of his bag, lights a candle on there, and then block, 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 does all kinds of weird, stupid stuff. <laughs> Packs up and says, He'll be okay. It's just a 24 hour plague. Thank you, doctor. So, so that is the gag. That is that's funny. That's 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 funny. Uh, looking at, you know, you can see the humor, is especially the, the gag in calling it the twenty-four hour, twenty-four hour plague because it, the plague is well known for medieval times. 
That's funny stuff. Now, so that is our composition. I'll just take a look. Okay, I hear ya. Time to get up and greet the new day. I can beat any man in the world. I wish you'd stop doing that. Why? Every word is true. Do you have to start every day yelling it at the top of your lungs? Listen, it doesn't hurt to advertise. And then, of course, you see someone who's bigger and meaner looking. <laughs> Even scaring the rooster. He's going to take <laughs> take Hagar up on this challenge. And I just look swift. Go through. Hagar the horrible. That's a sure sign winter is coming. See the bears going into the cave. Soon the snowflakes come. Now is the time to make the winter medicine. <laughs> that all could be a gag. The secret of making cold and sniffle tonic is very carefully measuring. And <laughs> he gets this huge wash tub. First, just the right amount of old grog. Then one single drop of wintergreen. <laughs> then stir, 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 and taste. Too much wintergreen. Add some more. <laughs> and all he's interested in is getting drunk. Spending the weather getting drunk. It says, listen to the noise that stupid sea is making. This is with his, uh, uh, Hagar with his friend, uh, Lucky Eddie. Gee, it's just the ordinary stupid sea noise. I can't sleep with that lap, lap, lapping of those dumb waves. I'm gonna stop it. But even King Canute couldn't order that the waves to stop. That loser, he never did know how to give orders. Watch me. <laughs> Waves, stop. <laughs> and they all, all roll back. Oh, you scared them. <laughs> and, and that is in reference to an old story of King Canute. And he had himself taken clear down to the shore on his, on his, uh, throne and he sat there and ordered the waves to the, the the tide to stop coming in and ordered them not to wet wet his his feet and of course it didn't work the wave the the um surf came in and his got his feet wet now a lot of people f think of this story as him being foolish he wasn't foolish and then he turned and said See, not even a king can order anything. It was a, it was showing wisdom in an example. Unfortunately, the wisdom got lost in uh, a lot of it got lost through history. <laughs> so, tramp, tramp, tramp! They're coming. It can't be not so soon. See all these, all these, these rough-looking characters coming, coming, coming in. Come, stomp, stomp, torches, weapons, uh, even their pigs and stuff. Boy, I hate these family reunions. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, here we are. Uh, on a lay siege to the castle. Said, boy, that's a biggie. That's what she said. <laughs> Tell the men I'm ready to attack. Hagar. The men are skulking with fear. What? Men, do you not have fierce Viking blood in your veins? I think so. I do. Me too. Maybe. And are you not protected by the shields of Thor? Yeah, 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 yeah. And are you not armed with the singing swords of steel? You bet. Right on. And is not Hagar the horrible your leader? Skulk, 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 skulk. Oh, look at that expression on his face. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, need something with. Oh, here he is with his son Hamlet. The sun is very important, isn't it, Mum? Very. I wish I could figure it out. How's that, son? Mom, how does the sun get up in the sky? I don't know, dear. Ask your father. So Hamlet goes out, talks to his dad. Dad, how does the sun get up there in the sky? Oh, that's easy, son. Every morning. 
he's <laughs> there sharpening his, his sword. Every morning, a giant soccer player kicks it up there, and since it's very light, it floats slowly across the sky and finally falls on the other side at night. Thanks, Dad. Glad to help you, son. <laughs> he walks back in. He doesn't know either. <laughs> His lucky Eddie here. Okay, ready, set, go. Clang, 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 bang, bang, clang, 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 swoosh, 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 why don't we play play my course next week? <laughs> so instead of golf. <laughs> oh, here's uh, someone after him with an axe. Oh. And that's just a just a fun little example of the type of humor you find in Hagar the Horrible in in dozens of collect uh, collections available. Who knows where? I haven't seen. A new collection in years but I haven't seen the old ones in years either <laughs> but there were so many and they must and it's still a popular strip in the papers today so there must be collections out there I just haven't seen them probably available on Amazon lots of them on Amazon and or eBay or haunt your your uh, um, your used paperback bookstores because they don't do collections like this anymore. They're mostly, when they do comic strip collections, they're usually a larger uh, paperback, uh, trade paperback anymore. And it makes them a little more expensive. But if this is your, fir your first introduction to Hagar the Horrible, I hope you enjoyed it because it may not be available everywhere. Maybe you should go out and and uh, find a copy of one of these collections real cheap at a secondhand bookstore, and you can grow to learn to to love Hagar like I do. And thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, <laughs> and remember, even when it's funny, comics are art.